Big play, first quarter. Shafniski on fourth and six under pressure. Stops, has the ball batted down, and it'll be incomplete. And Buckdale's defense has come up with a huge play. Out of the shotgun, Nitty to pass for the first time. Throws a dart, and it'll be caught for a first down. Down to the Lehigh 46-yard line. The converted quarterback to wide receiver, Jack Horan, caught a touchdown pass last week, grabs it and dropped down at the 46 of Lehigh. First and 10, orange and blue. So it could be two plays to pick up 11 yards, or 10 and a half as the case may be. Third and 10 at the 34 of Lehigh. Nitty in the shotgun, DeForia to his left. Here's a blitz, picked up. Nitty throws it short and a man wide open is Carter. He'll break a tackle at the Lehigh 20 and he'll get a first and 10 orange and blue at the 15 yard line. But they will have it first and 10 at the Mountain Hawks 15. No score first quarter. Bison on a three and a half minute drive. Hand off up the middle, big hole for DeFloria. He'll take it inside the Mountain Hawks 10 and he'll race all the way down to the six yard line. Once again, Carter and Oran split to the wide or left side. Bucknell's nitty in the pistol. DeFloria two yards behind him. Power to the right. Handoff to the right. Cutting it back to the left is to Floria. He'll wind his way inside the two to the one and over the goal line for six. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison. Again, to Floria going right. When he came back left, it looked as if one of the freeways out here caved in and there was a gaping hole. Third and goal at the Bucknell one. Lehigh down 7-0. In the shotgun is Shafniski. Who's with a long count this time. Takes the snap. Rolls right. He is going to break a tackle and go in for six. He broke the tackle by Brett Berg and was able to easily come in for the first six points of the game for Lehigh. Rollout pass by Nitty, who will stop, man in his face, go a deep ball down the far sideline. It's going to be caught by Carter. Breaks a tackle at the 20, fights down inside the Mountain Hawks 15. He'll have it first and 10 at the Mountain Hawks 10 yard line. Coming up to save a touchdown was Cristiano, but will he see? It's good to have you back in the Lehigh Valley. He's seven yards deep for the quarterback. Nitty will go play action. Rolling out to his right, throw it out of the backfield. Great grab by Marcus out of Alola. He'll break a tackle up to the 46, and he'll have a first and 10 orange and blue at the Bucknell 47-yard line. Pickup of six, second and four. Bucknell at the Lehigh 47. Out of the shotgun, quick pass. Nitty completes it to a diving Kyle Kinner. He'll have it for a first and 10 at the Lehigh 39. Kinner with five receptions for over 60 yards last week against Charleston Southern. Has a big first down grab there over the middle. Coming up on nine minutes left first half. Buckdale seven, Lehigh seven, but the Bison facing a second and three. The Mountain Hawks 19 and a half. Quick screen out to Horan. Horan doesn't get a very good block, but he'll break a tackle. He'll fight inside the Mountain Hawks 15. He'll have a first and 10 Bison at the Mountain Hawks 11 and a half yard line. At the 11, handoff, fresh knock up the middle. He'll break it inside the Lehigh five, inside the three, inside the two. Ladies and gentlemen, he's inside the end zone. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison! Fresh knock does it again, Kevin, this time from 11 yards out. Third and seven at the Mountain Hawks 37. Moving left to right. Shafniski under pressure. Steps up and he won't step very far. He'll be dropped for a sack at the 30. And Shafniski getting up slowly. A whole host of bison there. Abdullah Anderson, I think, going to get credited with the sack. That would be his fifth this year. And it'll be fourth and about 15 for the Mountain Hawks. And the Lehigh team will punt. Floria. Up three yards behind Nitty. He'll get the handoff left. Big hole off the left side. He'll break a tackle at the 15. Stiff over a man at the 18. Dance to the 20 of Buckdale and be pushed out of bounds on the near side of the field at the Buckdale 20 yard line. Berg, the rugby style kicker, will get a nice kick that's going to bounce away from the return man, Pelletier. And it will bounce inside the 20 down to the Lee Hawks 15 and roll dead at the 13 right in front of you, Kevin. What a great, I tell you what, for the third punter on Buckdale's roster, Brett Berg has done a pretty good job. He hadn't punted since his senior year in high school four years ago. 
Now on a third down and four, Shefniski to pass. He's going to be rolling a drop. Abdul Anderson will drop him back at the Bucknell 22. Third sack today for the Bison D. And Abdullah comes up with a big one. This is going to be a 37-yard uh, attempt. Winded his back. Going to the goalpost to our right. Snap is down. Kick is winding to the goalpost to our right. And it splits the uprights. Good. Another big third down here for the Bison in that first half. Bucknell on third down conversions. Just three of six. Need one here. Third and eight. And he has time. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. Throws it short. It's caught by DeForia. He'll take it for a first down. Up the far sideline to the 40 to the Bucknell 44-yard line. Being wrestled to this natural turf surface by Evan Harvey. But boy, he was wide open again. Listen, this is interesting. Last time, Lehigh brought pressure from Bucknell's right side, forcing Bird to conventionally style punt it. He normally scrambles to his right. They did it again. And he'll get a pretty good kick that will go over to the far side of the field. Oh Take my. a Bucknell bounce inside the 10. What a diving stop for the speedster, Nathan Madrano. He will dive on it at the oh, six-yard line. Otherwise, he would have taken another hop and gone into the end zone. What a great kick again by the third-string punter, Bird. And what a great play by Nathan Madrano. Shafniski with Nana to his right, goes play action to him. Now he's flushed out of the pocket, and Anderson will bring him down for another sack at the 21, making Sheldon that time. And Shafniski, who has sacked five times against the Bison last year, Kevin, has really been under pressure here today. I can don't blame him. Second and five at the Buckdale 10. Nana off to his left, probably be a handoff. Nope, pass by Shafniski in the end zone, and it's going to be touchdown. KC beat O'Brien. It'll be a 20-yard field goal, and Mish is going to easily get it through the uprights. Good. Second and 20, and the shotgun now is Nitty taking the snap, rolling to his left. Going to plant fire, caught by Carter. He'll break a tackle at the 45. He'll have a first and 10 Bison at the 40-yard line. Where you been, Willie C? Oh, I don't care. You got it that time on second and 20. Buckdale's Carter picks up 21. At the Lehigh 31, Popielski in motion to the left. Hand off, fresh knock. He'll break it for a first down as the freshman will carry Lehigh tacklers inside the Mountain Hawks 22. Puts his shoulder down. It'll be first to 10 Bison at the Lehigh 20. 20 to 13 Lehigh with 834 and counting, but the Bison have the ball at the Mountain Hawks 20. And the pistol now is Nitty. Hand off, fresh knock left. He'll cut it further left. He'll run over a man inside the 15. He'll be up in the, at the 12 of Lehigh. He just put his shoulder down and said, I'm the diesel and you're the road. First and 10 for Lehigh, leading it by 7, 20 to 13 with 3.48 left. Bucknell does have all three of its timeouts, but the Mountain Hawks have the ball at the Bucknell 34. Hand off Bragg alone. He'll go to oh, he the ball. And lose. And Bucknell has it at the 37. We wondered if Bragg alone had ever fumbled. He has now, Kevin. Nick O'Brien picks it up. And the Bison are making actually Troy Glenn. And the Bison are back in business here. Three timeouts at the Bucknell 37. Bison trail by seven to Lehigh, 20 to 13. 237 and counting. Wind at the back of the Bison if they do choose to pass. Here. Buckdell, T formation and a shotgun. Play action. Rolling left is Nitty. Under pressure, throws it downfield. It's caught at the 40 yard line. What a grab by Bucknell's receiver. And then a late flag as well as Carter catches it for a first down.